Just moments ago, the city of Tampa unveiled 100 new tiny homes. This is one way the city and community leaders hope to help those who are facing homelessness. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio joins us live from Ebor and Miguel. All right, you're gonna take us around, right? When do they expect to have these open? Well, Courtney, they're expecting to have these open sometime during the fall. These are tiny homes, not much space, but these are called Hope Cottages because they truly make a difference in people's lives. You can have essentials we take for granted, including a bed, a roof over your head. But a key thing here in these Hope Cottages, they will have electricity. This is going to be vital for them, especially during these hot summer months, even a heat during when it's cold. You can see the AC from above here. This is just going to make the difference for folks trying to get back on their track. We told you about these homes about a year ago when those tents were up in place and those efforts were up. Uh, these tiny homes, of course, would not be possible without Catholic charities in partnership with multiple partners in the city of Tampa. They're actually hoping to build at least 100 more homes to, pe to give to people. We heard from a former client who says because of this program, he's now living in a home and off the streets. This is the outcome of the program for people who come here that's, you know, down on their luck and have fallen short that if you work this program and they're here to back you and something good can and come from it. And it's those homes as well. Catholic Charities and their partners also provide mental health resources. They provide job counseling, really things that can get people back to their feet. On average, most people will stay here for about four months. Uh, this is an alcohol-free space and substances are also not allowed. We'll share more on how this works and how they're helping people get back on their feet after facing such a difficult time. For now, reporting live in Tampa, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.